Over the last two weeks, and many, many times before with the pre-A2 testing, I've invested time into the mage archetype. Overall, of the testing, I've probably put in well over 100 hours into this class, trying out many different builds and weapons to try and find what is my favorite way to grind through this new world that we've just stepped foot in. But after all of this time, I really have one issue with the mage that stands out far beyond anything else, which a lot of people may disagree with. No, it has nothing to do with the damage or combo system, or really anything surrounding combat, my issue with the Alpha 2 Mage is, well, it's a mage. And I don't mean this as an I dislike mage archetypes, mages is always my go-to. I mean this in the sense that the mage is extremely generic. Yes, it is an alpha, things will continue to change, but right now this mage feels like every other mage that I've played in every other MMO or every other RPG pretty much across the board. The abilities themselves are also extremely similar to a lot of what you'd find in every other mage archetype. You have your frost bolts, you have your fire bolts, your instant cast fire blasts, lightning abilities, short range teleports, and all that stuff that, well, you really expect to find in a World of Warcraft mage. Its weapon combos and the way you can chain abilities together with your basic weapon attacks is pretty cool, but the abilities themselves are boring. I am stepping foot into this brand new world on a brand new MMORPG that I am extremely excited for, but I feel like I'm playing the same exact mage I've played time and time again, and I was personally hoping that Intrepid would add their own flair to it that makes it stand out on its own a bit. I feel they've done a great job doing this with the Bard archetype, which in my opinion is one of the most thought out archetypes we've got along with the cleric, which feels familiar, but also doesn't feel like it's an exact copy-paste of a traditional paladin, priest, or cleric archetype, but the mage is just, it's the same. You have these beings that are masters of the essence, conjurers of the elements, beings that are so powerful that they had this massive university built in the Riverlands to teach people how to control this magic that they are using, but yet Intrepid is sticking with the same old formula of fire, ice, lightning, and arcane. The way the talent tree sets up really lets you favor one element over the other, but there is nothing unique about it, which is strange to me because there is so much more to mages than elements, and throughout the tabletop games in video games, there is a ton to be inspired from. Where is the blood magic? Why is there not a path in this talent tree that we could specialize in blood? I don't want augments down the road that might add some blood-looking color effects to my abilities. I want actual blood abilities. I want an entire unique set that makes the Ashes Mage stand out. We know blood magic is a thing in Vera. It's the reason for the entire destruction of the Tower of Carfin, but yet it's absent from the Mage's archetype. Why can't mages have a blood magic path to choose that that has a more debuff or curse focus to it, or even some sort of minor healing tied into it to give an extra boost to the party. They could even take inspiration from things like the Ace Sedai in the Wheel of Time, having mages blend various elemental weaves together that could potentially give them some unique effects to it. Have a mage summon elemental pets into a fight that can work with your ability stacks, especially if secondary archetypes aren't adding new abilities and just augmenting them, this would be a pretty cool thing to tie into with the summoner secondary archetype augmenting these elemental summons that you have. It just needs more that makes it feel like it's its own thing. On the smaller side of things, I also have issues with the elemental empowerment ability, which in itself is a cool ability that you get at level 1. This adds burning, chilled, or lightning status effects to weapon combo finishers based off the last elemental ability that you used. My issue with it though is this shouldn't even be an ability option. It's a passive. While it gives you a button to turn on, it never goes away. It stays when you die, it stays when you log out, it stays when the servers crash a hundred times. No matter what you do, elemental empowerment stays as a buff for your mage once you cast it. It's always on after that first click and you never have a reason to take it off. It is 100% a passive ability and really doesn't even earn a spot on the action bars. If they want to use this as an ability, maybe add like an aura system to the mage or stances, an elemental empowerment is just one of the few that you could choose from, but have the others do various other things, having impacts on other elemental abilities, tied into having it be a choice you want to make. So depending on what you're doing, you want this aura present on your character 
or on your party. Not a generic passive ability that you don't ever even have to think about. While this current kit to me feels extremely generic and feels like something I've played a hundred times before, it's not all bad though. The mage does have some things done right and I would like to see that expanded on, such as applying status effects and then using those effects to proc new effects. For example, you have the applied chilled and when that enemy is chilled, you can then apply the freeze status effects on chilled enemies, but they don't freeze if you don't have that chilled already applied. You have shatter, which does a similar thing with heavy lightning damage when casting lightning on a target that's chilled. There's a spec that you can go into that resets fire damage when you cast a frost bolt, and th those things are a really enjoy about the mage archetype. The procs are pretty interesting to me and make me think about my rotation when specking into a new ability, and I would love to see them find new and unique ways for these abilities to continue to tie into other elements. While this is still very early, and we really have only seen the bare bones of these archetypes in their trees up to 25, I do think the mage archetype has a lot of potential. 100 plus hours on it and I keep going back to it because it does fill that ranged caster for me, but it has a lot it can do to improve as well. I do hope that Intrepid has some tricks up its sleeve to really make the Ashes mage feel unique when 20 years down the road, people could look back on it and see it as an example of how not to copy paste the same archetype from game to game and have it be one that stands out among the rest.